Did you know that you have six different drainage pathways that work together in order to remove and eliminate waste products, toxins, even pathogens that you've been exposed to? Now, what I find is most practitioners talk about three of them, and they're really the big three, but guess what? We need all six in order to properly function and drain, not to mention detox, all of the junk that we're exposed to on a daily basis. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the six pathways and explain using analogies so that you can understand how they work together. Because we really can't separate the six out. We do need them to work as one functioning unit if we want to properly drain and eliminate toxins from our body. Because guess what? When one of them isn't working, it puts a strain on the rest of them. That's going to make more sense at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned because it is going to be as clear as a mountain fed spring by the time I'm done explaining this to you. Let's start with talking about what are the six drainage pathways or organs that are involved in removing and eliminating waste products. All right, we got our liver, we got our gut, and we got our kidneys. Now those are the three that are most commonly talked about. But we also have our lymphatics, our lungs, and our skin. Those are equally as important, and the six of them work together in order for our body to remove all of the garbage that we're exposed to. So what I want to do is I want to take you through a little imagination exercise. We're going to start by thinking about throwing a massive party at our house for all of our friends and family. We are having a big celebration. We are going all out with drinks and food and party favors and glitter bombs and everything that you can possibly imagine. Now the problem is at the end of that party, you have leftover food, you have solo cups, you have paper plates everywhere, you have toilet paper and tissue all over the floor in the bathroom. You have literally garbage scattered throughout your house. Upstairs, downstairs, everywhere that people were, there's a mess to clean up. So I want you to think of all the rooms in your house and that mess as what your lymphatic system is actually gonna do. So your lymphatic system is literally gonna go room to room, or in this case, cell to cell, organ to organ, gland to gland, and clean up all of the waste products within each of those individual compartments, those rooms. All right, so after you go from room to room and you clean up all of the garbage everywhere, what you gotta do is you gotta sort it out. Right? You got to sort it out from what is truly waste to what is recyclable to what is compostable. All right. That is what your liver does. Your liver goes through all of those waste products and goes, okay, what is it that I can recycle and reuse within the body? And that can be anything from like glutathione to vitamins and minerals to all of those things. What is trash? All of the toxins, the waste products, any bacteria, virus, pathogen that's been broken down, that's waste. And then compostable is would be like things like vitamins and minerals. Like what are you going to use up in another form? So your liver goes and separates it all out. And once it's separated out, it actually is going to take it to like the curb, okay, for pickup, for removal. Because right now, although all of that waste product is still like is removed from all the rooms it's not actually removed from your property and i want you to think of your body as your property so until it's actually removed from your property by having the recyclable truck the garbage truck the compost truck coming and picking it up it's actually not leaving your possession and the same thing happens with your body if you're not eliminating it you're not removing it from your body, it's still in your body causing problems. So what is the garbage truck, the recyclable truck, the compost truck? Well, that is your gut, your kidneys, your lungs, and your skin. What that does is that's actually removing those toxins and waste products from your body, either via bowel movements, urine, CO2, like from your lungs, or even sweating. So all of those have to work together. And I'm sure you can start to see when one of them isn't doing its job, 
what happens is the others have to work harder. So it is so important that when we're looking at drainage, we're looking at supporting all of those drainage pathways. Like we're looking at supporting liver, the liver's ability to both like break down products, like take the fat soluble products and turn them water soluble for it to be removed or the lymphatic system to be able to actually clean up and suck up the lymph fluid from the interstitial space in order to be filtered and put back into the circulatory system, that you're actually having proper bowel movements to remove the toxic waste, that your body's capable of sweating, that you are urinating, but not only that you're urinating, that you're also filtering. So making sure that you're filtering out all that urine and removing waste products, and not to mention that you're breathing properly, that you're properly exhaling and breathing in in order to remove the carbon dioxide the excess carbon dioxide. So when those aren't working together, we end up having issues, meaning we can end up with symptoms. So whenever or if you're planning on doing any type of detox or parasite purge or really anything along those lines, because those are all hot terms right now. Everybody's talking about detoxes. Everybody's talking about parasite purges. Everybody has parasites, according to some people. And I don't disagree with that. But what I do believe that we all have to do is before we're ever going to do any type of detox, or any type of parasite purge, or dealing with a chronic infection like Lyme or mold, we have to make sure that every single one of those drainage pathways are open and functioning. And what I mean by that is if you don't sweat, if you go in a sauna, or if you're in 100 degree weather and you don't sweat, that's actually a problem. That's not a good thing. Or if you're not pooping every single day, or if first thing in the morning, you actually don't see little like flecks in your urine, or if you have swelling in your legs, or you know, like we can keep going on with all of this. If those things aren't happening, you have no business doing an actual detox or a parasite purge because your body's not gonna be able to eliminate those toxins from your body. So think of all of those steps, like going room to room and cleaning things up, separating them out, and then the proper truck coming and removing them from your body. If one of those things isn't in place and isn't working, you're not gonna be draining or detoxing very well. And that's the very first thing that we need to do in order to support drainage and in order to be able to detox. I hope that that analogy made sense. If it does, let me know below and make sure to subscribe because I'm going to continue to share with you information so that you understand how you can best support your drainage and detoxification pathways at home. So remember, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get reminders of when a new video comes up and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.